We are here with NXP at Electronica 2022, and we are standing next to a rather fancy looking uh, part of a car, basically, which has a baby inside, which we'll show you in just a moment. This is the future of electric vehicles. It has ultra wideband sensing for people in the car. It has 4D radars. And I'm here with Antonio, who's going to talk about the battery management system that they have just announced recently. So Antonio, thanks so much for speaking to me today. Yes. What's so special about this new battery management system that you've put together? So what we see uh, recently that um, battery management systems and batteries in general for electric vehicles are moving from 400 to 800 volt. Mm -hmm. So the, double, uh, the, the number of cells are doubling mm -hmm. for, uh, for a battery. So functional safety is very critical for that. And also uh, what we see is that um, a cloud connected battery it will be more and more important in order to get the best out of the battery over lifetime and also be able to judge um, let's say the capability, the full capability of, uh, of the battery. So our technology starts from edge, which pro produces actually um, the, the data, and then uh, afterwards uh, using functional safety, uh, monitoring closely the battery, and then um, submit all those data to, to the cloud where with AI and uh, specific advanced algorithms, uh, we can have an optimized um, control mechanism for the for the for, for car. So this, uh, I'd say, the, the mixture between edge processing and cloud processing and functional safety is uh, really um, our our strengths and and, and uh, addressing the future needs for this market. Absolutely, yeah. And um, and for those that might not be so familiar um, with this, uh, the idea of the edge processing side of it means that this is the AI that can be done in the car without any connectivity. The benefit here being that all of that data can go into the cloud and the data from all of these cars can be used to ensure that the entire fleet, as it were, is safe. Um, and just from, a, uh, just from a completely high level term for people that might not be so familiar with electric cars, the fact that there are double the cells in there, what are the benefits of that? Does this mean there's going to be a massively increased range, uh, massively increasing the technology that can be on board? So basically it means that you, you, you uh, you reduce the current consumption, basically, because the energy will be, um, let's say, um, the voltage will be higher, so the current will be slow, uh, uh, lower for, for, for the consumption. Um, it's, it's faster, you can have uh, also, um, overall, a, a better, um, a better um, acceleration. You have uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, features that you, that you, ca uh, that you uh, cannot um, address with 400 volts, so there is, uh, multiple elements that, that drives that, and um, and and um, the topic is uh, if you have a, a, a increasing a double a double amount of cells, mm -hmm. you need still um, to make sure that um, the functional safety is met in the failure tolerance time mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, the battery is always under control. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much for making the time to speak to us today, Antonio. Thank you. Take care. Thanks.